Well, welcome back to a puzzling scene at Nationals Park in Washington, D.C., where we are nearly four hours in to a rain delay in a game that was stopped at 4.43 this afternoon between the Mets and the Nationals. The Nationals with a one to nothing lead. It was a game that was started in the rain. It was raining kind of softly when the game began, but it got harder and harder through the first couple of innings. And by the time Michael Perez hit this double, which was the final play before the rain delay, it was raining very hard, and the infield had started to develop lots of puddles. So the grounds crew put the tarp on the field, and then we waited. And at about 7 o'clock, they pulled the tarp off the field. Both managers came out with the grounds crew chief and the umpiring crew chief, Paul Emmel, to take a look at the field, and they felt as though it was not really playable at that point, but they figured they'd try to work on the field and see what they could do. So the grounds crew came out. Um, they did yeoman work to spread as much diamond dry as they could and try and soak up the moisture from the field from all the rain that had fallen and how it had percolated underneath the tarp during the two and a half hours that the tarp was on the field. But even with that, when the managers and the umpire and the grounds crew chief came out again, they felt as though the field was not playable. And they discussed it for a while, decided to keep trying. And so the grounds crew came out and did some more work on the field. But that work stopped about a half an hour ago. And the fans who have been in the ballpark here since 4 o'clock this afternoon when the game began have waited patiently. There has not been one single word of communication from the Nationals or from Major League Baseball about what is going on here we can only assume that the teams are in contact with Major League Baseball trying to figure out what to do. If the game were to be stopped at this point, the rules say that you have to pick it up as a suspended game immediately preceding the next game between the two teams, which would be tomorrow. That's all we know. We don't know anything mm. else, and nobody in the ballpark knows anything else because there's been no communication of any kind from the Nationals or from Major League Baseball in what has been nearly a four-hour rain delay. Well, I think the big mistake was I have no problem with starting the game because it was drizzling. But they were intent, I believe, uh, to get five innings in and get a complete game in. And then it started raining hard, and Gary, we all, Ron, we all noticed the field was getting, the infield yeah. was getting drenched. And they allowed the play to continue, allowed the field to be get to get soaked, and it was by that time where they, by the time they called the game and put the tarp on the field, well, you see, you, you guys saw the uh, what the grounds crew had to do. It was they were out there for well over an hour uh, working on that field, and to me, you got a a big payroll, and you lose a you get a player that's injured out here in this field. Um, I'd be very upset if I was an owner or Buck Showalter or Dave, Davey Martinez. The, the only issue, though, is that the field, when they were playing on it in the first two innings, was unplayable. So they, the, this high payroll teams, both of them were out there. There was more risk at the beginning of the game than there is at the field now. First, we've got to uh, really thank the grounds crew and how hard they worked to try to put this uh, field back. But once they put the tarp over a muddy field, it just stayed muddy yep. and soaked into the ground and it made it uh, almost impossible. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but the big issue really um, is the no communication. And you got these poor fans that are just yeah. sitting here wanting some kind of information that they're getting now on the screen. And we just got this information that today's game has been suspended and will be part of a split doubleheader tomorrow, which oh. is that is unprecedented to have the completion of a suspended game part of a split doubleheader. So after a galling nearly four hours of waiting, including the last half hour where absolutely nothing was happening in terms of trying to get the field ready, that all the work had been done, now they make the decision to play a split doubleheader tomorrow with the resumption of the first game at 1235 and the second game starting at 435. And what I'm assuming is that for the last half hour, that was the communication between the Nationals 
and the Mets and Major League Baseball to get permission to do this, which as far as I'm concerned has never been done before, that you're giving a piece of a game to the fans as part of a split doubleheader as opposed to playing straight through and making it a single a, admission. A piece of a game has now become a full game right. for the fans that uh, are chose choose to attend. I, I've, I've never heard of anything like this ever happening. And, and to wait four hours for these oh. folks, uh, you saw the booze, you saw unhappiness. You can't hear how loud and how unhappy they are yeah. here tonight. Absolutely. And for me, to take this long to come to a decision, it's just and make these people wait out here without any clue. I don't know. I'm just, that's, that's uh, to me, is unconscionable. It's really a shameful episode on the part of Major League Baseball to permit this to happen and then to come to this kind of a resolution to charge fans twice tomorrow rather than playing straight through with the completion of suspended games. So that'll do it for us here with the Mets trailing the game one to nothing in the third inning. They'll be batting with runners at second and third and one out in the top of the third when the game resumes tomorrow at 12.35, and then the regular game will be played at 4.35.